Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. How many holes does a straw have? This question has created a lot of debate online. BuzzFeed recently created a video that already has over 450,000 views. This is amazing. It's a topology topic that's going viral. Topology is a branch of mathematics dealing with the study of shapes, and it was important for the 2016 Nobel Prize in Physics. Now I've noticed something interesting. When a matter of science gets in the news, you always have scientists that are consulted. When a matter of law gets in the news, you always have lawyers that are quoted. You always have experts that are quoted when those topics get in the news. What happens when mathematics gets in the news? Well, people just debate it. So I am begging BuzzFeed and the media, please, please reach out to math people like me and other math people who are on social media for such topics. It's a great time where we can educate people about mathematics for something they're already discussing. So, how many holes does a straw have? What was the debate centered around? Here are a few of the popular answers. Many people thought a straw has two holes. There's one hole at the top and there's one hole at the bottom. There's another camp of people that says a straw just has one hole. It's a really long hole. Now there are also some people who said a straw has zero holes. If you puncture one side of a straw with the needle, you would say the straw has one hole. So an undamaged straw starts with zero holes. So these are a few of the answers that people gave to this question. But which one is correct mathematically? Give this a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video, and I'll give the mathematical explanation to this question. So, how many holes does a straw have? Here's a short mathematical proof for why it has one hole. A straw is topologically equivalent to the product of S1 and the interval 0L, where S1 is a unit circle and L is the length of the straw. Since S1 has one hole and the interval 0L has no holes, a straw has one hole. This is essentially the argument that I read in the article Drinking Straws, How Many Holes by Kevin Knudsen, who's a professor of mathematics at the University of Florida and a Forbes contributor. So what exactly does this mathematical proof mean intuitively? Well, let me explain this in a little animated fashion. So we'll start with the circle S1. Now we would agree this has one hole inside. The inside of the circle is a hole. It's a two-dimensional space that's contained by a one-dimensional simple closed curve. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give the circle depth. This will be the product S1 with the interval 0L. So there you see it. There's one hole, you have the length of the straw, and the other side is still the same hole. So the straw has exactly one hole, even if we scale it down to the shape that we're familiar with. So that's the answer. The straw has one hole topologically. Is that what you thought? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, please check out my books, which are listed in the video description. And you can support me on Patreon. If you have a mathematical topic or a puzzle, you can email me, presh at mindyourdecisions.com, and you can catch me on social media, either at mindyourdecisions or at presh Tollwalker.